Russian specialists have developed a fumigator portable counter-drone electronic warfare e, system to protect assault teams from FPV drones and munition-dropping UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles, CEO of Laboratory PPSH, the system's developer, Denis Oslomenko told TASS on Wednesday. Our modules serve as the basis for new products. For example, we are now rolling out fumigator portable systems, both their standard version and the fumigator FPV configuration for assault teams. They also consist of modules designed to suppress a certain frequency. Previously, one person carried a sort of a backpack whereas now two individuals in one unit carry EU equipment, the chief executive said. One system suppresses munition dropping drones, creating a dome of 250 to 300 meters and shielding an assault group while the other suppresses FPV drones. The system operates on one battery for six to seven hours, Oslomenko added. Recently, the company, PPSH Laboratory, published the first photos of Russian soldiers with wearable electronic warfare, fumigator, in the North Military District Zone. Warriors with these anti-drone, shields, look very impressive, as if from a science fiction action movie. The complex consists of two modules and is designed to be carried by two soldiers. One device creates a dome with a diameter of up to 300 meters, protecting the squad from dropping ammunition. And the second module is responsible for neutralizing FPV drones. The famous military blogger Alexander Aratunov has already tried on the fumigator and posted a video of the test on his Telegram channel. It is not reported what stage the work is at, and it is also unknown whether the fumigator is being supplied to the Northern Military District Zone. The problem with drones is very big. At the front they literally demand means to combat them. As our soldiers say, the main losses of Russian armed forces units are caused by drones. Now the armed forces of Ukraine have a very large number of them. Wearable electronic warfare systems are one of the ways to save the lives of our soldiers. On the other hand, to jam incoming Ukrainian kamikaze unmanned aerial vehicles, UAV, which have emerged as the greatest disruptors on the battlefield in Ukraine, Russian T-72 and T-90 main battle tanks, MBT, have started using larger electronic warfare, EU, systems, which have recently been seen on the top of the turrets. Russian and, later, Ukrainian tanks began sporting metal cages and roofs over their turrets some time ago for protection against loitering munitions. Russia later installed the EU system on some of its tanks. Russian telegram channel, Malinfolive, posted photos of a tank fully covered in a camouflage ghillie suit with a large bulge on top and what appears to be sensors just above the centerline from the gun assembly. The tank was identified as the B-3 variant of the T-72, T-72B-3, installed with the EU system with eight antennas. The T-72B-3 is seen driving through and firing in a destroyed town. It has the EU system connected by an exposed wire, flowing down onto the chassis. This could be linked to the operator's console, most likely with the tank commander. The same EU system previously appeared on T-90M tanks in the Advevsko direction. 
An earlier photo posted on the channel showed an abandoned T90M tank with a large overhead cage, supported by four stilts rising from four corners of the top turret. The same EU system can be seen on top of the roof, with three of the antennas visible. The tank's engine hatch is open, with wires jutting and dangling out, suggesting that the tank might have been abandoned during repairs. An armor plate tile on the rear left part of the chassis covering the tracks has also come out, suggesting a hit. It cannot be determined whether the repair occurred in the middle of an engagement or whether the tank ran into Ukrainian firing while it was being fixed. However, it can be ruled out to be a scheduled repair, which would happen in concealed positions and not in full view of enemy ground and aerial reconnaissance. In January 2024, Reports also noted Russian T-80 BVM tanks sporting what was identified as the Sania EU system atop its protective cage. That system had three large antennas fixed in an inverted tripod configuration, with reports describing it as a counter-unmanned aerial system CUAS, system. James said that this was developed by Russian company 3MX, while the T-80 BVM belonged to the 1st Army Corps, operating near Pervomeskoye. 